So Mayhem 2.0 has landed and today guys I bring you an already existing legendary farm which is perfect for those Mayhem 2.0 level 10 higher powered items and to cut to the chase it is that level 2 Freddy farm but it isn't as simple as that. How's it going guys my name is DBJ and today I bring you another BR3 video if you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Mayhem 2.0 has just landed, with it we have the Loot the Universe event, we also have the Revenge of the Cartels event, but in my opinion Mayhem 2.0 is the most important and the one that will be with us forever. So to cut to the chase, Mayhem 2.0 has 10 modes, 10 difficulties, Mayhem 2.0 mode 10 or level 10 is the most difficult, it drops the best loot, the highest powered loot, but at the same time like I said it's the most difficult to play. With 4 modifiers applied to it and some of these are utterly brutal. We see stats on enemies are plus 12,500% health, shield and armour, so it takes some doing. The plan on behalf of Gearbox is to work your way up through to Mayhem 10 via playing and earning loot in the lower levels, as each in reality drops gear powerful enough for the above level, so playing through Mayhem Mode 1 will give you gear for Mayhem Mode 2, etc etc all the way up to Mayhem Mode 10 or Level 10. What well, this farm today guys allows you to bypass all the levels of Mayhem 2.0 and jump straight into that Mayhem Mode or Level 10 to earn the highest powered loot straight away. Even with the current build with no additional more powerful gear that you started this day with being April 23rd. So how it works is, and I'm certain you are aware of the Level 2 Freddy farm, well if you're not, a quick summary. Freddy upon the VIP tower within the handsome jackpot has a chance at appearing at a level 2. It isn't 100% of the time but for me it's about 85% of the time in which he appears at this low of a level. Problem is to get him to spawn in the first place you have to clear out his room of robots. This can be done quite easily with the redistributor of corrosive or a sickle, a lob, anything quite powerful. I mean yes enemies do sponge because of that plus health shield and armor but it actually isn't that hard if you know what you're doing. Remember though mayhem 10 modifiers can be brutal so re-roll any you ain't happy with. If you're not sure how to do that mayhem mode is now activated and re-rolled via the second from last tab within your echo device. So bring up your inventory menu and scroll across. So what you do is you clear out Freddy's room then Freddy will spawn himself. If he is anything other than a level 2 Quit out of the game and load back in and rinse and repeat until he appears at a level 2. When he does appear at a level 2 you are good to go because here it becomes quite easy. All you now have to do is kill him, fast travel back to the start of this area then run back up to him and he will respawn, no quitting out needed at all. Now to make this super efficient on yourself, get yourself an anarchy because even a level 2 Freddy can sponge some of the most powerful weapons in the game. So having an anarchy makes this the easiest I think it can be. The variant of the weapon doesn't really matter, the anarchy for those that don't know is a random will drop upon Xylargus which is exclusive to the guns, love and tentacles DLC owners. So with this equipped, stack that damage while firing it and then it automatically reload 10 times. Then just use the vending machines here to keep that ammo topped up. Then it's as easy as running up to Freddy, using the left hand side of the room and just killing him and fast travelling back. The anarchy here doesn't lose those damage stacks though upon fast travelling which makes it amazing for this. So you can just keep doing it and what it does is make to an amazing level 10 mayhem mode 2.0 legendary farm for all that beautiful and most powerful loot in the game. Remember though this will only drop the LC1 and prior legendaries. It won't drop anything from DLC too, which is Guns, Love and Tentacles, but there's still some amazing things you can get here, as we all know, which will definitely help you further on and later down the line, when you decide to jump in and play something else on that Mayhem 2.0 level 10. So enjoy this people and I hope it helps you out. On that note guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.